the company will be analyzing today is Eugen Software Technologies Limited. So this company is there since 1992, almost a 30 year old company and they started their operations by digitalizing the banking uh, software that is for their documentation purpose and then slowly over the years the company has evolved and now they provide three different uh, solutions so if you just go through that right so one is content services platform okay so here in this one right so if i just show it to you for the content uh, thing so newgen named as a visionary 2021 Gartner Magic Quadrant for Content Services Platform. Okay, so what exactly is this uh, Gartner thing? So it is actually for evaluating these IT companies, right? So Gartner is an IT firm that evaluates these different companies and then uh, looking at how these companies are performing, right? They rank them accordingly. So if you go through the uh, quadrant, right? You have four different players that is the niche players and then you have visionaries you have challengers and you have leaders okay so this is how the gartner magic quadrant looks like okay so the on the x-axis you have completeness of vision on the y-axis you have ability to execute so new gen is in the visionary thing for their content services platform okay and the next one is low code product process automation so going back to this right so you can see the other companies that are there in this okay something like microsoft box open text and companies like that so newgen is actually a pretty doing pretty well for its uh, in its uh, content services platform now coming to low code so even in the low code thing right so this company has been in the magic quadrant but it is in the niche player part okay so there is room for uh, the improvement in this for Newgen and slowly it is doing that okay they have come out with their uh, product that is Newgen 1 okay and recently what they have done is they have acquired a company okay number theory and uh, it's an artificial intelligence and machine learning data science platform company okay so that it helps them better their low code process automation product okay so that is what they have been doing in their uh, low code process automation part and also in omni channel customer engagement so these are the three uh, things which in which this particular company actually works okay and since as, because of this whole covid thing right as you know most of these companies are going to become digital right they are going to offer their services and their products so everyone is moving towards digitalization because if they don't do that eventually they will become obsolete right now looking at the fundamentals of this particular company so Newgen software technology is limited so the market cap as of today is 3300 crores so it's a small cap company but if you look at the enterprise value right it is 3090 so almost 270 odd crores of cash the company has on its books so it's a debt-free company which is clearly visible here debt to equity is just 0 0.04 and the company trades at very decent valuations okay as you know most of these companies trade at extremely crazy valuations in the it space so this company although after being a product company right this is trading at very decent valuations right and the rocs are also very strong around 27 right and if you look at the growth for this company over the last many years so if you take the compounded sales growth for last five years it is around 14 percent profit growth is around 35 right so anything which is going at 35 percent kind of profit growth right the company should uh, actually double in three years kind of time frame right so very less debt or you can say it is cash rich company the cash flows are clean okay so this is about the fundamentals of the company so the company has been consistently growing and with this push of digitalization right the growth should only accelerate but there is some seasonality to this okay so if you look at the quarterly numbers there is some seasonality that you'll find uh, q3 and q4 are the very strong uh, months and then q1 and q2 are a little subdued 
but now that is slowly improving like june 2020 and 21 as you can see there was a 20 percent kind of jump even for september right so q4 should be very good for this company and going ahead q1 is going to be a little subdued if you compare it to the q4 numbers but you have to compare it with the yoy results right because there is some seasonality in this okay so this is about the fundamentals part of this particular company right now coming to what newgen is doing so tcs something as big as tcs right it is partnering with newgen for their flagship banking service euro project in israel so you can just analyze why would someone as big as tcs partner with a very small company like newgen newgen is hardly 3000 crores tcs is i guess 12 or 13 lakh crore company right so why would tcs do that so this tells you that the product that newgen has is actually really good right so when these big guys actually start uh, collaborating with smaller players then you will know that whatever newgen is providing right it is actually very good okay this also gives us a confirmation that the product newgen provides is actually very strong okay or very good so this is the uh, late, latest acquisition that the company has made so as you everyone knows right the, the new thing in digitalization is artificial intelligence machine learning whole automation thing digitalization so this is what is going to happen in the next 5 to 10 years okay as the world moves to a digital era okay now coming to the technical part of it so as you can see the come uh, the stock has fallen after making a base this one right because of the whole war issue the company actually had a pretty decent fall and then it is now trying to make a double bottom around that 480 mark as you can see the company has you know, the stock is making a double bottom and the volumes are slowly increasing along with uh, good accumulation the chances are the stock can bounce back from these levels and also edelweiss had come out with a report a few months ago Uh, with a long recommendation on this particular stock so here as these guys are saying so this company has almost 550 active clients and they have been consistently growing okay they are in 72 odd countries okay and this company according to them right they should increase their revenues and profitability for by, by 22 and 24 percent respectively over fy 21 to fy 23 or 24 okay from 21 to 24 they expect this to grow at 22 percent the revenues and the profit should grow at 24 percent so edelweiss has a buy rating on the stock with a target price of 900 okay to be honest not many companies uh, mutual funds are holding this particular stock if you go to the share holding pattern so the promoters had sold a big chunk almost 10% uh, in the month of june in in that particular quarter q1 right but because there is hardly <coughs> hardly any liquidity right if you go and try to trade the stock right you not see liquidity at all although the public holding is 19% right but the liquidity is very low kind of an illiquid stock because not many people are holding on to it so here this itself will give you an idea as to uh, the quality of these fii's so that this is a pretty decent company <coughs> okay so since it is a small company as of now just 3300 crores not many people would be chasing it but uh, this is about the indian market right so what happens when something becomes red hot everyone starts chasing it and the pe gets reduced So it has a comfort, uh, hardly any downside, I would say, because the PE valuations are also pretty cheap, just around twenty one. So if the company keeps delivering and keeps growing, right, this should only go up from here. Okay. So banking on the whole digitalization theme, low valuations, right, and now that the company is doing acquisitions as it has more uh, a lot of cash on its book. chances are this company can grow really big in the coming let's say 2 3 or 5 odd years all right thank you everyone